Hi, uh, my name's Jo Middleton. I write a blog called Slummy Single Mummy. I'm here today at Angel Square in Manchester to talk to David Collingwood of Cooperative Funeral Care about funerals. Hello, David. Hi, Jo. Now, the Cooperative Funeral Care um, have a, a system of a prepaid funeral planning. Is that right? Could you just tell me a little bit about what that means and what the benefits are? Sure, yeah. Um, a prepaid funeral is really a funeral where you've talked about the funeral, you've planned it in some way before, agreed the overall cost at the current um, prices and you've paid that money then to us as the supplier of that funeral and then we guarantee that no matter how long the funeral takes uh, in the future, we will conduct that funeral at no additional cost. So what are those kind of key choices that people have to think about when they're planning a funeral? Well the key thing certainly with funeral funerals and funeral planning is, is having something that's right for you that means something to you because we're all unique people we lead unique lives and it's really important that the funeral's a unique thing as well. So Mark at the funeral directors in Taunton was showing me things like um, paperweights that you can have ashes put into he said you can have ashes put into fireworks and all kinds of things I guess most people wouldn't even know those were options. Absolutely, and I think it's around making sure that we're able to present choices to people and encourage them to think about what, what do they want. Years gone by, I've been a funeral director all my life, and I remember when I first started, the number of people who just simply had um, the ashes after the cremation scattered yeah. in the Garden of Remembrance at the crematorium. There was no sort of thought. And gradually through the years, we thought, well, what else could we do with them so they could be scattered in a particular spot? You know, favourite walk, favourite view. Um, ashes can be interred if, if there's a family plot, something conventional yeah. like that. But there are all sorts of others. Um, products out there that can be done so they can be turned into glass, into jewellery yeah. and paperweights. Um, I mean, they can even be put into a firework <laughs> and, and the firework just let off into the sky and, and you know, people do, do choose that. I guess one of the big questions that people have is how much is a pre funeral going to cost? Yeah, I mean, the cost of any funeral, whether it's at need or whether it's pre-need, is made up of two sort of parts. The funeral directors charge, what we would charge for all of our services, and then it's the things that we pay out on behalf of the client, the third party costs, so the crematorium or the church or the flowers or the obituary, all those sort of things that you'd have to pay if you were going to organise it yourself without yeah. a funeral director. So the two added together give the overall total cost of the funeral. What is it about cooperative funeral care, do you think, that sets it apart that, that makes it a good option for people? We are a cooperative, so we don't make money for shareholders. The money that the cooperative makes goes in, back into investment in the business or it goes to our members. We are a different organisation and I think we're very transparent and we're very honest and open in what we do um, and certainly in terms of the uh, website that we have and, and the funeral planning comparison table that actually shows quite honestly what the differences are to compare with the, the different um, funeral plan providers um, that are out there. Well thank you very much for talking to me David, that's been really fascinating. Thanks Joe. I've enjoyed thank it. You. Thank you.